All right, first up, sir, is to another doctor, Dr. Mubbs with a Z, M-W-B-Z. M-W-B-Z. Dr. Mubbs Hussainian. I can also bring this over if you'd like to spell it out. M-W-B-Z. Another doctor as well. Yep. Got it. Hassani. Hassani. H U double S A I N I. Good. Beautiful. All right. Good. All right. Next up is going to be right there. This box right here. All right. right. I've got this one. How do we open it? <laughs> oh, there we go. They should be pretty open. And this one, there's no dedication, just a signature. No dedication, no names needed, just a signature on one of those. Do we take them out of this, right? Yes. Okay, do you know how to do that? I do not know how to do it. The cards? Yeah, no trading cards. Oh. I gotta flip them up. So. There we go. Ah, they got like a little holder. Yeah, yeah. I got gotcha. you. Okay. There you go, Doctor. Thank you. That's one. This is two sixty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'll, I'll take that for you. Thanks, bro. All right. Okay, you gotta make sure they don't get like smudged. Yeah. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Okay. Beautiful. Yeah. Good. All right. Good. Next up is three thirty-six. This one is just again another dedication, or no, or no dedication needed. Right. For this one. It is. Oh man, this is an original <gasps> NES yes. cartridge oh, that game for was Robocop. Wow. I think you got to open it up, right? Yeah. If you'd like, yeah. That game is awesome. Wow. Wow, that is like a blast from the past. No dedication? No dedication, just a signature. Okay. Thank you, sir. Yep. This one that is next is also no dedication needed, however. It didn't smear, did it? No. Uh, the next one, no dedication. Remove sleeve before signing. It will do. Um, oh, man. So, Rob, you, uh, man, at what part of New York are you from? Um, born in Brooklyn, Flatbush, Brooklyn, raised in Flushing, Queens. Okay. I am a Met fan. <laughs> I just need to tell you <laughs> that. Don't, I don't love the Mets, me. man. Yeah, I love the Mets. I love the Mets. You know, you know the model. You got yeah, this here. Yeah. I can also take that out if you'd like. Uh, you know, the year uh, finishing Robocop was the Great World Series with the Mets in Boston. Oh, really? Yeah, it was like Mookie and all those guys, man. Hey, Bo had one hell of a life after that. Yeah, and I have to tell you that, you know, with Keith Hernandez and all those guys and Ray Knight and those Mets, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. You guys, you don't know this, do you? No, that's not, that's that's not even close to a lot. That, that's before Daryl Strawberry and um, right. Dwight Gooden. Yeah. So then they want signature Alex Murphy Robocop. Okay. Hurry up, bub your head. Oh, okay. In between the title and your head. Yeah, so in this space. All right. Okay. Great. Thank you, sir. You're. I feel like we get through a little bit. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Great. This next one is a Batman. Right. And I can read to you. If you get, if you take it out, I guess I can't yeah, take them out. Absolutely. Just so. see how they. Uh, you a baseball fan, Jake? I'm not much of a baseball fan. I grew up in South Florida, so the Marlins. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
a uh, football fan and a... You are strangely a hockey fan. Hockey? Hockey. Hey, hockey. Uh, Lightning? <laughs> oh. Um, well, sir, I, mean, I can read the quote to you as well. This one, uh, tonight we are the law, tonight I am the law. Okay, what am I going to sign that? Tonight we are the law, tonight I am the law. Yes, sir, and then just your, your name as well. Where does he want me to it? sign that thing, though? I would probably say you would sign it. Oh. oh. Uh, more so on... Um, I'd say on the plastic on the phone. Or... Probably on the plastic? Yeah, that's where most people tend to sign it. Yeah. It's on the plastic. Just so that, you know, it's more readable that way. Okay. It's turned it over so that it's, uh... I think so, too. Yeah. Like, way up. Yeah. Yeah, so if anything, just write it along here. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, because that way it'll be right. read over. Yeah, perfect. Tonight, we are the law. Tonight, I am the law. So when I was shooting, we were finishing RoboCop in Pittsburgh, we shot it all in Dallas. Oh. And then we had to go to this abandoned steel mill. Oh, God. End of the movie, right? Yes. And there was this guy, he was in the accounting department. Yeah. And he was quite the, the 25 year old braggart good looking sure. jock, yeah, yeah, yeah. Boston dude. And uh, it's not that any, everybody hated him. He was just so full of himself that he was easily... He made fun of him. Well, no, nobody made fun of him. It just seems easily to kind of go like, God. <laughs> uh, and so uh, the two great, oh, this is, oh what's, this, what's the name's book? This one. Oh, oh my gosh. That's pretty awesome. Oh, yeah, this, uh, this one is for uh, Michael Culver. How do you spell his last name? Culver, C-U-L-V-E-R, and Michael A. You know what, I guess, give me a paint pen there, I guess. For sure. Yeah. Uh, is that black? Oh, yeah. Sure, yeah. Here, I'll just sign this here. For Michael Culver, right? Yes, sir. Over with you. Yeah. Just put in this one. Okay, you got a piece of paper. Do you want to use a pen, uh, test pen? Yeah. We have a bunch of extras you can use. Um, give me a piece of paper and uh, use one of these as a test pen. Yeah. It just takes a while sometimes to get it. Let me, let me try to test Yeah, it's a new one. Give it a shot. All right. Uh, and I forget this guy's name, but Michael O. The guy was in. Uh, so there was nothing to do when we were finishing RoboCop, except 286 people, all the drivers, everybody go downstairs. To this huge community room with this funky ass Holiday Inn. Yeah. On a bad big screen, half the size of this, and watch football, Monday Night Football, or. It's in Pittsburgh, Sunday. yeah. Outside of Pittsburgh, sure, it's sure. horrible. You couldn't go anywhere. It's too cold. Yeah. Or and then the World Series. Well, oh, really? And it was that famous World Series with. Uh, wow. With the amazing Mets man. <laughs> with um, five to two, bottom of the night, two outs, two strikes on Ray Knight. What are the odds? What are the odds? Four hits. And an yeah. error. Mm -hmm. And that error is one of the biggest errors of all. Billy Buckner. Uh, put the glove to the ground. Man. Just a roll, slow, slow roller, man. Even I know that one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Slow roller. So who's this to? This is to Michael Culver with a U. <laughs> spell it to me again. Spell it for me. Yeah, no worries. Michael A with an A-E-L and Culver C-U-L-V-E-R. And he has a quote as well. What is it? Don't embarrass us. Have I ever?
That's so all all our ad lib. You know that? Well, that was ad lib. Yep. Oh, <laughs> those are always the ones that tend to uh, tend to stick with people. Yeah, Lewis Smith. It's perfect. Tommy said that. There you go. All right. Just give me one second here. Just get to the next one. This one is just a signature. It is a it is a big sucker. All right. Anyway, that kid was from Boston, that guy. And we watched Boston. You know, that was the sixth game. Yeah. I knew we were going to pack it in, man. I'll tell you, I did go to uh, Sox-Yankees games in that 04 season. They weren't in the playoffs, but it was a season series in Boston. And my uh, mom's best friend at the time was the general counsel for the Red Sox. Oh, no way. So, yeah, she had a string of cool jobs. She was yeah. general counsel for uh, the Marlins initially when uh, Henry owned them, and then he went and bought the Red Sox. Right. And then she had actually moved over to Cable Vision and was the general counsel for Madison Square Garden. So wow. I've had a whole bunch of cool sports experiences. Oh, but I bet you've gone a lot of places to see some shit, man. Yeah, I went to those two games versus the Yankees. There was a split in 04 before they won the championship in right. the same season. Yeah, right. right. Uh, plenty of Marlins games, uh, plenty of Knicks games and Rangers games. Um, so that was always a pretty Yeah, I used to, speaking of Rangers, I used to go see. Uh, all the Rangers games. Man. Uh, there's not like a game in the Yeah. My, I, I had a buddy, Ron Dreschner, who's, who's a Ranger. Okay, what do they, what do they want here? It's just a, just a signature on this one. No, no uh, making it out to anyone, just a signature. Okay. Okay, you hold it. Yeah, I got you. Got it? Yes, sir. No, it's good. It's good. <laughs> Appreciate it, though. Perfect. Done this once or twice? Yep. Okay. Perfect. Thank Don't you. It. Perfect. Well, well anyway, well, this, the whole crew, Robocop, everybody, cast, crew, Verhoeven, who hates baseball. Like, really? Well, I mean, it's just, but there's nothing yeah. to do except to sit there with a crew and eat fried chicken in the bottom of a Holiday Inn looking at a big screen. <laughs> that game, man. Boss is going to put it away. Two outs, two strikes. Bottom of the ninth. Man. And uh, rain night, then. Uh, what's his name? Kevin, what's his name? And then somebody else. And then Mookie hits the single. And they win. Uh, Six oh, to five. Yeah. <laughs> Although, keep it in here, especially when bringing yeah. it to a, to a public event. All right. All right, this one, dead or alive, you are coming with me. Yeah. See, my only claim to fame when it comes to baseball is my dad is a, long, is a lifelong Cubs fan. And every year- he's Love Cubs games, man. Met, it's a great, great stadium, great team. But you'd always say, I love the Cubs, I love the Cubs, but they disappoint me every year. But my dad in 2016 sends me a video of himself at game seven and he says, I made it, with a, with a quote, I made it. We finally made it. His, yeah, his dad lived his whole life a Cubs fan, loved the Cubs, when had season tickets, would always go, never got to see him win. And he, my dad knew it killed him inside that he never got to see his Cubbies win. Great stadium. Great stadium. I lived near there for, for many years. Great You're stadium. from Chicago? No, but I, I went to college there. I'm from D Detroit, Michigan originally. I love that town too, man. Yeah, Chicago's a great city. Really Detroit's a great city. Detroit's coming back, man. Yeah, slowly but surely, it, it, it's sad. It's sad, though, to go back and you just see, like, suburbs the size of Evanston just totally abandoned. Yeah, but the thing is, is that the, the downtown is coming back. You gotta oh, yeah. Do, and they've got, they've got a RoboCop you gotta do, statue that is pretty thick. Well, I, I don't know about the RoboCop statue, but which is, like, a whole other deal. Yeah, that's but, kind of weird, yeah. But Detroit's kind of like my adopted city. I go... I've gone to something after the ball game for the time. Detroit game. Athletic Club is a great, great building. <laughs> yeah. Right. I just I just spoke to the I just spoke to the uh, the cultural center of Detroit. Oh yeah. Yeah. I did a a one hour presentation on on uh, cities coming back, cities returning. Uh 
And I had to, I had to take some flack too, man. Really? Yeah, because the cultural society of Detroit, uh, you, have, you have to know something about Detroit. Yeah. You know this about Detroit. Detroit, urban and most of suburban. Yeah. 78% black American. Yeah. Yeah. And 30% of that don't have internet. Mm -hmm. A lot of them also don't have clean water. Even, I, 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 even outside exactly of that. Flint. Right. Right, right, I, I mean, I'm not even talking about the Flint thing. Right. So Detroit coming back is coming back and that it's handling its urban and suburban things. Right? Yeah, but it's, it's yeah. slow going because the infrastructure is just still not there. And it's the Midwest, so they kind of Well, I mean, they put in that, you know, they put in 60 million in the downtown. The first thing you got to do is fix the marketplace. Oh, yeah. You go all the way back to ancient Greece, you're not going to fix an urban situation yeah. until you have a marketplace that works. That means the town. Yes. The city. You follow me? Yes, sir. This is for Molly. I do follow. <laughs> what? Uh, this is for Molly, by the way. For Molly? Yes, and I do follow. Nothing. It doesn't nobody else wrote to Molly, but That's what it's that's what we got here. Alright. M O L L Y? Yes, sir. All right, there you go. Thank you. This one is also the Molly as well. Because when I first went to Detroit in, you know, in the in the eighties, there was you couldn't walk outside a hotel downtown. Yeah. I mean, forget New York. You there was nothing going on downtown. Yeah. It was it was it was, uh, it it was, was gone. It was dead. My grandmother thought it would be the first ghost city. Really not. Yeah. It was, it was. I went to promote a couple of films, man. I do this thing. They said, yeah. okay. Here's the Renaissance awesome. thing, la la la. You're staying at this uh, hotel. Don't leave the hotel. I said, what do you mean don't leave the hotel? Well, go ahead and leave it. You <laughs> walked out of Detroit in the early 80s. After five o'clock, there's <laughs> no one yeah. on the street. Even locals were like, nope. My boss is from Detroit, so. Really? Okay. So, but now. I see some tumbleweed just going across. I know, man. I it at, yeah. But now they, they restored cafes, they restored yeah. theaters, yeah. they restored February. There's like a theater like. scene coming back, too. Huge. Like immersive theater. I'm really yeah. surprised. Yeah. It's like Dallas did the same thing with immersive theater, just using those old warehouses and just trying to. That's right. And they almost had a movie uh, a movie scene there until they raised the taxes again. But that's well, they got that great theater they, that they didn't allow them to tear down. What is that? I don't know. It's called the Regency. But something like that. Oh, oh, Longmire. Wow. This one is also a Molly, no special instructions, just... Molly is a Longmire in that, okay. Is this working now? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I just want to, I just want to know this. Stop a yeah. After after playing RoboCop, yeah. how did it feel being like a sex symbol? <laughs> a, a sex symbol? Yeah. Come on, those lips. Come on now. Let me, let, Rob, let me tell you something. My oldest friend in California, mm. and I noticed since she was seventeen. God bless her. It was Carrie Fisher. Oh really? Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. She took me to Disneyland. She was wow. my very first friend in LA. I met her in New York and I went to a play. Star Wars is just about to come out. Yeah. She came to see this play, her and Griffin Dunn. I met them both, man, they were teenagers. I was 26 or something. And she was my first friend, first friend ever. But Rob, just for your information, she told me when I was 26, she said, girls follow you around, don't they? <laughs> so, and that, that too. my answer to you is I've always been a sex symbol. Yeah, baby! Yeah. There ain't no goddamn movie I ever did that made me any more of a sex symbol than I was when I was in high school. So, I didn't get married until I was 59, and I didn't live with any woman until I got married. Oh, yeah. Right. And so, as Tennessee Williams said to David Frost, when he tried to be so uh, controversial in 1970, David Frost. You ever see Frost, Nixon, that movie? Oh, the movie, yeah. yeah. Okay, oh, well, yeah. David Frost was that pretentious. Really? He would sit there with his clipboard and he would pontificate, right? And these are these 90-minute interviews he would do, right? 
And he's interviewing Tennessee Williams. Yeah. Who everyone knows is gay. I mean, <laughs> yeah. for fuck's sake. And he's he based, he wrote the greatest female characters in the history of American theater, all based on his sister and his mother. And he's smoking a cigarette, and Frost thinks he's being controversial. Like, this is two years after Stonewall riots, yeah. but like I say, like, you know, gay rights are still in flux. Yeah. And Frost says, Tell me, Mr. Williams, are you homosexual? And I'm watching this, and I'm still in college, man. I'm thinking, Do you not what know? a dick. <laughs> what a dick. Yeah. Like, is that supposed to, like, pump his ratings? Is he supposed to be? Yeah. And Williams, Tennessee Williams, with his cigarette holder, you know, from Mississippi, right, raised in Louisiana, doesn't flinch and just goes, well, baby, <laughs> I covered the waterfront. <laughs> that big smile, man. Just fucking 86, that fucking limey, pretentious Anglo. Oh, yeah. 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 Sorry, I didn't look before I... Uh, 291, Special Destructions, character name, quote, no matter where you go, there you are. Okay, and you guys are getting the money for these quotes, right? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Right? Specific for you, yeah, yeah. yeah. We built that in. Yeah. Okay. So once again, no matter where you go, right. there you are. Hey, by the way, when they ask me to write something, that I did not say, I don't. I don't write it, because the, like, there's like legal yeah. ramifications for that. Yeah, it's not like you're gonna write Calabunga. <laughs> no, but there was a, was it with you, Nick? Was somebody really wanted me to say? Oh yeah, no, I the, think it was. The, you know, the, you know, the, I don't know, the Orioles eat shit or something. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 it was something like that. Somebody oh. asked, no, somebody, no, somebody asked me to like chast chastise some baseball team or something like that. I ain't writing that down. <laughs> if it's a team, it's the Orioles. If it's the uh, Oilers, that's the Pirates. No, Orioles. I think it was Baltimore. I don't know. Yeah, Baltimore, Baltimore Orioles, yeah. yeah. Yeah, right. but I like the I like the boys. I like. They're a big fan of yours, and they're like, oh, I don't want Robocop to tell uh, to tell you that your team sucks too. <laughs> that, that's what yeah. you know. I, I like you know, like, dude. It's just the cool. only team like I don't even say like only because I was like so anti uh, New England, which I was. Yeah. Because everybody's anti New England because. You should still be. But I should still be. Yeah. You should still be. I know, because I got so many Boston friends and like, <laughs> um, but I was like always a Brady fan, except, except I couldn't He's stand the team. He's so when Brady leaves, you know, I'm so happy that, uh, that Rodgers and Brady are returning. What can I say? Man? I, I am too, but it felt like a little bit like. We have to like, milk, we have to milk it a bit. Right, exactly. Did you really? Come on. Yeah. Aaron Rodgers plays game. That, that last, the, the last game of the season, you yeah. see him going into, into the game where you all crying. I'm like, oh, man, you're going to be tired. <laughs> two weeks later, we suffered two years. I, 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 I know, man. I know. But they all do, man. They got to they, they gotta milk it, right? right. Yeah. Gotta, it's all entertainment, essentially, sure. at the end of the day. Sure. Uh, this one just dead or alive, you're coming with me. Okay, they pay for this. Though. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's a whole different section to make yeah, sure. Right. Who's that? Uh, the Rogers. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He changed his route. You know who takes their route? Derek Jeter. Yeah, but like, right now he owns the uh, you know, Miami. He backs out. No, no, he still owns them. Yeah, but he, I'm pretty sure he's selling or he quit. Oh yeah. my god! Like the last time I heard, like four months ago, that um, he took out the entire like. Beautiful. Oh, thank you, sir. Miami. 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 The mascot? The mascot? No. <laughs> I, I'm dead serious. He bought the mascot. He, he took out that big fountain that um, that was actually out there. And, oh, yeah. 
Uh, who is it? Who, now, who is this? Who is this, brother? Uh, I mean, Derek Jeter. Uh, the shortstop for the, uh, yeah. the Yankees. He owns, well, yeah, he yeah. might still own the Marlins. Yeah, Jeter. Did Jeter buy the Marlins? No, uh, he's the CEO and part owner of the yeah. Marlins, but he resigned and is selling his stake. So he, he did resign now? Yes. Yeah, yeah, that is two months ago. People do not like it. <laughs> People that use, you, come on, you fire the mascot. Mm. Like, Who was the mascot though? Really? Billy? Uh, Billy? Billy the Marlin? Yeah, Billy. It, it was just a, a big old Weird Marlin. things I remember. I did go to the 97 World Series when I was a kid. I did go to my dad. But That's right. I think I said to him, I think I said, I'm a little bored, and I think we left. <laughs> that was my reaction too. Was that 97 World Series against who? Marlins versus. Um, Sounds the Yankees like were, the, Yankees. the Yankees were in 02, I think. Yeah. Yeah, Didn't you win with Bob and um What am I talking about on that show? The Marlins have won, have won the series, World Series twice and they only have ever been in the playoffs one other time. 19, 19. Okay, but they, they win it against Seattle? No. Yeah. Oh man. Um, oh this one's for Tim. And Dead or Alive, you're coming with me. It was for Tim. Uh, the Marlins versus the Indians. There you go. Okay, we're gonna make this work, so I got you. Right. Rob is the Rob's got the magic touch with that one. <laughs> you know, it's my New York upbringing doing the graffiti and all. Oh, fair enough. My tag, my my tag name. Your tagging, your my tagging tag career. name was, was Slim McGee. <laughs> is that right? No, I'm joking. I'm actually, what do they want here? Uh, it's for Tim, and he wants dead or alive. You're coming with me. Yeah. Oh gosh. Okay. <laughs> Every time I hear that line, dead or alive, you're coming with me, I'm like, oh, I gotta watch it. Uh, they gotta, they, they gotta pay extra for that line. Yeah. <laughs> they do. Yeah. I don't know what you, you um. Is that, is that a special edition? Yeah, I think it's like a, a tin. Oh, that looks, yeah, it is, that's sweet. Yeah, it is tin, yeah, okay. I gotta, gotta, gotta get, I gotta get Be careful of it. Right. And we were inching closer and closer to our to our, our big item. <laughs> all right. All right. Are these all dedicated items? These are all. Uh, no, those those are those flattering and different things. But they are they are in order. I'm going to go to okay. And then we got these picks, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Another gun. Yes, sir. And on this one, uh, just uh, just a signature. Okay. No yeah, posts, okay. no dedications. No tape, okay, good. Okay. It's the base of the statue. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Right. And then for this one, um, Murphy Robocop, uh, Dead or Alive, you're coming with me. So I'm going to Liverpool next week, Jake. Yes, you are. Which is a big one now, man. It's like yeah, it's, that one has been uh, interesting. There's, there's a lot of yeah. Oh, oh okay. Do you know anybody that's uh, and if this is for somebody? Who is it for? And for nobody, it doesn't have any okay. signs. Good. Do uh, you know anybody who's been? Because it used to be small, right. got bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Now I think it's the biggest one in the UK. It's really? The big one. And that company really? puts on like five or six different events in, in the UK. Uh, uh, they put on the Manchester event, right? I believe so. Manchester event, Liverpool, and then they have um, 
There's three others. But that one has a lot of confirmed deaths. So people are going that. Okay, great. So the thing you can make sure, because in the, in the, in the distinctions of, um, I remember why, when I talked to Ben about the, about the ticket, because we did this five months ago, six months ago, is that I, I need a car to drive me on that Sunday to London. Then they don't have to, then they don't have to drive me to the airport. I got my own ride to the airport. Okay. We talked to them yesterday. Okay, great. Because it's a three-hour drive on a Sunday. It's four hours on a during the week, right? Yeah, I've driven it before. And uh, yeah, who's right there? Oh, yeah, sure. Okay, so apparently this one is in blue sharpie, and okay, is it in the plastic? Yes. Okay. Well, oh, um, yes, so I mean, do we? No, we're not doing it on the plastic. No, no gotta take it out of the plastic. Yeah. Trying to read the instructions. What, what's this? This is the. That's their. That's the return. They okay. Them. And they want. So it's blue sharpie, bottom left corner, and it says uh, with screen name. So oh, we have the, the blue right there. Left. Okay, blue. There you go. Bottom left corner, what? It says um, left corner with screen name. So I'm assuming. That's all. What is it? Please top. sign blue sharpie left corner with screen name. Thank you. Okay. Great. No sweat. There you go. That's awesome. Thank you. And that is your last send in for now. So I'm going to cut. Send in? Yes. Of just like these stuff that was sent in directly from fans' houses. Okay, great. Cut.